Hello, my name's Giles Lehman, and I'm surrounded with a lot of bottles. Now, I'm an artist, and I like to use whatever I find to make different sorts of things. So, I've got some bottles today. Uh, as you can see, you can use them as a musical sound. This one would probably have something you could find in the house, a few buttons. And uh, there was another one that's cut off. And I I'll show you the reason why it's cut off in a minute. But you can experiment with these. You can try different things. So there's a shaker with two different parts. Now this is another shape we've got, which is also, yeah, this one is cut off. And luckily, I seem to have a piece of tube. So that's another instrument I can show you. This is an ordinary plumbing water pipe. <laughs> Right, that's probably done something to the recording equipment here. Anyway, um, so yes, all these different bottles are a really good resource for making um, art. And so the other idea I have is making these uh, flowers out of the bottles. Um, so I've got a lot of different bottles here. They're just ones that you would find about. Um, so basically, you take one of these bottles and you, you take this little bit off here because you don't want to have the label on it. And you've got a, a bare, bare bottle there. Now, so in order to make the petals, you want to do a line all the way along. You've got to find a pen that draws on it, perhaps. And then you've got to do one opposite, so you get another one. Two lines, and then a, a, one in the middle. Now, it might take a little bit of drawing. And basically, you've got a crisscross of one going downwards, one going cross. And uh, you've got to safely be able to cut this bottle. So I squeeze it normally like that, and we cut that bit off. Now, there are several ways to make this bottle uh, flower. This is the simplest way. So I'm going to cut right down here. And you can go right down, right down, down to the bottom, even. <laughs> and this is where it gets quite interesting, because it, it sort of feels like it could be a rattle, and I've just discovered you can use them as rattles. Like that. We tend to be able to push it right down because actually was surrounded by these flowers that I've made. These are some of them as well. I can take a piece off and I'll show you. But that's the same shape, that's the four petals. Now you're saying, ah, oh, well, how do we get the colours on that? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, this, this little um, cut, you can just take the corners off. And I, I will be showing you in a minute how to make even more, more um, elegant petals, I suppose. As you get used to it, you can make them more uh, shaped. So I'm just taking those corners off, because they're quite sharp, actually. Now, you, so you've got that. Now you're thinking, how do I paint, how do I get the colour on there? Well, our good friend Sonia, who's part of the Recycling Week uh, event, has just told me that you can use old nail varnish. 
And what, um, I haven't got any here. But if you were, you were going to paint on the back of it. So I've got some ordinary, like, poster paint. So you paint on the back of it, like this. That's, this is one way of doing it. So I've, I've just done that now. We might be able to use it at the end as part of uh, the flowers we make. So this is very roughly done. But I'll tell you in a minute how to get it a bit more um, expertly looking. But it's just a little bit of colour. You can use a uh, house paint emulsion. It's quite good. Spray paints are very nice. If, 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 if anyone has any of those spray paints, sometimes you can use those. So that's that green one. I'm going to have to be quite careful because it's wet. So um, that's that one there. So there's all these different shapes you get. So this is a spray paint one, you see. And that's a bright red. So if I may, I'll go straight into this. These have been painted beforehand. And uh, you can paint them in lots of different patterns. And that's how you get one of these, where you get a design, you see. But you can just go for one colour, and that looks really good as well. So what I'm going to do is um, the same process. You have to take the top off before you cut them. Uh, I'll cut it off first. Yeah. So remember, good old squeeze. Once you've got that first cut, you can then go around safely. You're not going to be using knives or anything like that. So scissors are really good for this. So you've got this little pot now. That's quite useful for something. You can put my corks in there. Okay, so there we are. That's that shape. Now, do you remember I said Perhaps if I do it like this. I'm going to be freehand, but if you can get it as straight as possible, and then this is the opposite. That, so that line's in front of me now. I'll go down here. Now this pen is actually wonderful because it draws on plastic. It's made by Posca. I'm advertising a product, but actually that is an amazing pen. You can draw on plastic. So if you can get hold of one of those or the whole set, they're the most beautiful pens. They're a kind of paint pen. Right. So what did I do before? Yes, now I'm going to work out the centres of these because that this time we're going to try and go be a bit more artful. Um, so that goes to the middle, and that goes to the middle. Do you see what I'm doing? Still going to end up with four petals. You can do much more um, ornamental stuff. I'm doing a very simple one here. Right. So then. Whoops. Whoops. And then right down the center line. I find going all the way down to the bottom is, is really good because um, you'll see in a minute we can form the shape. Obviously, you can take your time about it. I'm going quite quickly. <laughs> 
So that last corner is cut off. Right, well that's... So then you pinch it at the bottom. So that's quite... You don't have to do it fully. You can, you can play about with it, but that's quite good for a start. So you got that very generous flower. And I told you about these, this pen. But remember, the nail varnish will probably work. Because you painted on the back of the bottle, it's got this wonderful look. So the paint's there, but it looks very, very professional, <laughs> if I say myself. I'm going to um, make, quickly make those. Is that all right? And then we'll, we can make one flower. Um, so this one's another one. It's got a line already, so I'll, I'm going to follow that. And obviously you would draw, but I'm going to go for freehand. So that's at the bottom. Oops. Just very simple, this one, because that we're going fast, as I said. Next one. <laughs> yeah, I might need someone to help me there. That it's quite nice. They so this one, I want to use it as part of this final piece. Let's just do the blue one as well. This is going to be multicolored, isn't it? So you've got three, three little pots now <laughs> to put all the bits in. Right, it's a nice looking one, this one. Right. <laughs> I think... Now, I've got the trumpet there still. I'm not quite sure why, but it's still there. Maybe it's part of the story. Right. This is a piece of uh, overflow pipe. Right, so that one's next. And then this one. Ah, it's quite a sort of one of those, I see. Oh well, that doesn't fit quite. It, it, the different sizes, but um, whoa, <laughs> let's take that one off. I'll tell you why. I've got another idea for this one. It's completely stuck on. Right? This is um, a wine cork. 
and you can fix other ones onto it if they want to go on. It doesn't want to go on anyway. So, and then you can fit other flowers onto it like that, you see, and then they, they sit together. Um, okay, so, well, that's basically our lovely little um, flower. I'm just going to see if I can get it to go with the blue one. Stick that one in there. Oh, does that work? I have to say, it's certainly all the colours. So there you are. That's our big flower. Um, well, this piece was made um, in the, the period when we had to stay at home in lockdown. And uh, it was part of a project. I was working with a local uh, arts organization called Groundswell Arts and they work in Chestnut School and uh, Woodlands Park Nursery and lots of other different places around here and I'm a local resident I live just at the other side of the park and um, the idea was to make something that lots of people could make uh, around the community and so lots of people made these flowers I, I, I told them how to do it and um, I made one piece myself and this hang, hung outside my house for a whole month <laughs> and it's, it's called the rosette to lockdown. It's like a sort of big rosette, you know, almost like you'd wear if you were campaigning or something. And these are all flowers that uh, I'd made in the process of, of showing people how to make flowers and I thought I'd use them. Um, and I've basically used up all the different bits and pieces that were in my shed. So round shapes and rings and hoops. And there's something quite amazing, I think, that the actual flower, I won't take it off, but it's just held on by the, the, the bottle. So I made a hole and put the flower through and I put the top back on and that's what holds it there. So um, I quite like that. I just used what was naturally there in the bottle. So that sometimes you get the design from what, what you're working with. And the, the frame that it connected to are round shapes that you get at the top of a, a lampshade and the light bulb would normally go through that hole. But we've got a rather flowery light bulb there. So um, these are different drink tops because we were doing a lot of drinking in lockdown. Uh, this is, it, it says bread and it's made of dough, salt dough. So I started making bread in lockdown. And also my, my partner was doing a lot of knitting. So there's wool. So a lot of things that were to do with being in lockdown or in this piece. Um, and I was really going for the, the big punchy colour because we were in lockdown in summer when all the flowers are coming into bloom and I felt like they represented the garden or the park, somewhere we, where we could go and, and be outside. So these represent our... our our ability to go outside the house in lockdown. <laughs>